So, all right, Matt, thanks for joining us. A new one-year contract at the O's. How are you feeling? Yeah, delighted, yeah. It was probably the easiest uh, contract I've ever, to, I've ever had to sort out. Uh, was uh, was desperate to stay, really. I, I kind of have enjoyed this season so much. I've enjoyed playing a bit more near the end. And, uh, and now I'm just focused towards next season, probably playing more, having more effect uh, on the team and uh, just staying with this great group going forward and hopefully achieving more success at, uh, at the club, yeah. And what was it about the about the club and your time here that made you want to stay so much? Uh, well, I think, obviously, there's a few things. I mean, the success we've had is, uh, has been so good. I think it's such a positive kind of environment to be at, at the moment. Obviously, the manager um, wanting me is a, is a big thing and obviously a set of uh, great teammates and... Uh, and staff who uh, who help you so much and uh, help you get to where you need to be for a match day. So it's uh, it really, I really, really wouldn't have uh, liked to be in anywhere else. So just delighted, delighted to get it done so quickly, uh, so soon. Could enjoy the summer and uh, come back really hungry for next season. I think um, Sunday was uh, disappointing, but made made us uh, more hungry for next season. So and there's a local boy. It really is the perfect club for you, isn't it? Yeah, my, my old man will be happy because he, uh, he ain't got to go far to games and things like that. When I was up at uh, Bristol or Shrewsbury, it was a bit of a pain for him. But um, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's a club that obviously I, I grew, uh, grew up around here. So it's just great to, to stay here longer and, and hopefully achieve more with the club. That's what it's all about. I think when, uh, when you get on uh, into your latter years, um, as people like to remind me, it's about in, enjoying the moments. And we've had some great moments and I just... I'm so determined to have more good moments at the club. It's, uh, it's such a good feeling winning things or, or being there in, in big moments, in big games, and that's, that's what I'm in the game for. And uh, I think there's a, a lot more to come at this club. And I think it's fair to say it's been a hard-earned uh, new contract. You've really um, almost had to grasp your opportunities uh, when they've come, and, and particularly in the second half of the season, you've made a real impact. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, it wasn't easy at the start of the season, but I, I was coming back from a quite a serious hamstring injury and uh, I knew I had to be patient. Um, I, had, I had chats with the manager and he, he was always brilliant and honest with me. And uh, I always had the belief that coming into the season, um, you can ask the lads this, I said, uh, I'm going to have a big impact. And, uh, and I did. And uh, no one remembers the start of the season now, do they? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I guess... There's been a really good relationship built with the supporters in recent, you know, recent months as well. You're getting quite lovingly uh, labelled the Ginger Pele. Um, how great have they been? Yeah, they've been great. I mean, uh, I probably should go back on Twitter, actually. Uh, <laughs> now you're telling me I get a bit of love here and there. But, um, yeah, no, I mean, I think, I think this club's been through some, from some bad times. And, uh, and now I think there's a genuine affinity with the players out there. I think you, they can see how honest we are. And, look... We, we are going to lose games but I think they like to see the fact you give your all and uh, I think we've got a group that give, a, give their all and they give their all every day even in training so um, I appreciate if I'm getting a, um, some nice things said and that but I'm focused to kind of keep, keep the positivity coming and um, I just do everything I can so uh, they stay liking me and not booing me eh? <laughs> and just finally um, there's obviously now the challenge of football league football for the O's next season um, you obviously want to be continuing in your fine form personally but I, I guess there's a real uh, ambition for the club to do really well next season too yeah of course I mean it won't be easy I mean there's, uh, there's definitely a difference in the level uh, how big it is I'm, I'm not sure but I think as a group, um, we've got to be looking at the season as a, in a positive way in terms of being up there challenging. Um, so I think that's a realistic goal if you look at the teams that maybe have gone up. Um, being in and around it, I wouldn't say, um, I wouldn't say it's easy and, or taking anything for granted, but all I'd say is it's definitely a, a change room with some winners in it and, and, and I can see us winning more than losing, yeah.